Kia ora Year 12, this is a differential equations question from November 2015 and it's paper 31. Um, the fan on the laptop is going really loudly so hopefully this is still audible, let me know if it's not. Okay so let's um, have a look at it, it's a nine mark question and it's got a trig function in it and this is going to be the source of the hard work is what do we do with this, the rest of it is the usual, we're going to separate the variables and proceed from there. So we're given that when theta is 0, x is equal to 0, and then we have to figure out the value of x when theta is equal to pi on 4. So let's start off in the usual way, if we separate the variables, here's what we get, sine squared of 2 theta d theta. So integrating both sides, well we can see that the left hand side is going to be fine. The trouble comes on the right hand side because we've got a square of a trig function and that is a real pain to integrate as it stands. Well we just can't do it like that because if we try to do um, sine cubed three theta, uh, 2 theta we're going to hit trouble because we need to have um, the derivative of the sine of 2 theta. So we're going to have to have something like a 2 cos 2 theta. So it's not just a problem of mucking around with a constant, it just needs to be changed around. Okay, and the way we're going to do that is, as usual, we're going to use the cosine of 2 theta to help us. So let's have a look at how we can go between a sine squared and a double angle cosine. So cos 2 theta is 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. So it looks like something to do with this is going to help us because we can integrate this sort of thing, and we can integrate this. So rearranging that will give me 1 minus cos 2 theta is equal to 2 sine squared theta. We've done this lots of times, right? So then 1 minus cos 2 theta over 2 is equal to sine squared theta. But we don't want sine squared theta. We want sine squared of 2 theta. So what we have to do here is double theta here and double it over here. So we need 1 minus cos of 4 theta over 2 is equal to sine squared of 2 theta. Now we're going to take that and we're going to substitute that back in to the integral. So here we've got 1 over x plus 2 dx is equal to 1 half minus a half cos 4 theta d theta, which is suddenly quite straightforward. So we get log of x plus 2 is equal to theta on 2 minus 1 eighth sine of 4 theta plus c. Now we know that 0, 0 is on the curve, so we're going to substitute that in. So the log of 2 is equal to 0 minus 1 eighth sine of 4 times 0 plus c. So c is equal to the log of 2. So my de is now this. Now the last part of the question requires us to figure out what x is when theta is equal to pi on 4. So log of x plus 2 is equal to pi divided by 8 minus 1 8 sine of 4 lots of pi on 4 plus log of 2. So that's when that's the case. So the log of x plus 2 is equal to pi on 8. This is equal to 0 plus the log of 2. Right now, e to the power of both sides will give me x plus 2 is equal to e to the pi on 8 plus log 2. I can split that up as follows. So we get this x is equal to negative 2 plus 2e to the pi on 8 and you can do nice factorizing things with that but you don't need to because we just asked for the approximate value to three decimal places so if you now chuck that into your calculator you'll get x is equal to 0 
0.9962. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Um, I will chuck some work solutions for it up onto Google Classroom later on as well.